हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पी देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डे इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information i have to start off with some really good news actually some wow 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 news we can see the path now and very clearly so Finally we get word that Iraq has met all its requirements to join the World Trade Organization WTO. This does not make the RV imminent. All these recent activities and events matter and the RV is a byproduct of all these events not a singular event in itself. The view is now in sight and the writing is on the wall. So much on the wall that I do not believe anything is going to stop it short of a major disaster. Sadani has said he wants to raise the purchasing price of the dinar for all Iraqis both at home and abroad he has also said he wants to restore the dinar to its former glory minister of finance on tv saying they have activated the automation and digitalization process that's important digitization is the backbone of the monetary reform That's what's going to move the currency in and out of the country but more so out there when it starts to float for us. That will add the real effective exchange rate to your currency. Have you heard the latest from Iraq? It's buzzing in the news about the Council of Ministers and Al-Sadani. Two meetings in one day. That's almost unheard of. So, what does this all mean for Iraq's future on the world stage? Hold on tight because today we're diving deep into happening. To start off, let's talk about who Al-Sadani is. He is the current prime minister of Iraq. Since he took office, Al-Sadani has been working on significant reforms. And lately, his leadership has made waves in the media. Now, let's break down these two meetings. Having two council of ministers meetings in one day isn't your everyday occurrence. It suggests urgency and a proactive approach. In these meetings, key topics were discussed that could lead Iraq towards more international engagement. Why is this noteworthy? Because it shows that the government is serious about moving things forward. This could mean that Iraq is preparing to re-enter the international community in a much more significant way. But what does it mean for the average Iraqi citizen? It could mean more job opportunities as the nation opens up to global markets. Imagine seeing foreign companies investing in Iraq. This would create construction projects, technology hubs, and perhaps even tourism growth. Now, Let's take a moment to explore what this all entails. The Council of Ministers doesn't just make decisions, they set the tone for the country's future. In their meetings, various ministries come together to discuss pressing issues. From economic challenges to infrastructure needs, every topic matters. But the real question is, what decisions were made in these meetings? We know that Iraq has been through a lot in recent years. There have been struggles with the economy, security, and political stability. The meetings might signal a shift towards better governance. Al Sadani addressed both short-term challenges and long-term strategies. He talked about reforming the economy to make it more stable. This is crucial for building trust with both local citizens and foreign investors. Now, let's discuss the international aspect. Why is Iraq looking to expand its role on the global stage? The reality is, international partnerships can drive development. Iraq has rich natural resources, especially oil. If managed correctly, 
these resources can turn into growth and prosperity. Imagine if Iraq manages to establish strong trade agreements. That could open doors. Foreign markets might become more accessible. Investors could feel the confidence to come to Iraq, bringing in new ideas and technologies. This could help Iraq's economy in so many ways. Next, we must consider the impact these meetings could have on regional stability. A stable Iraq could have a positive effect on the surrounding countries. If Iraq strengthens its economy, that can contribute to a more peaceful Middle East. Al Sadani's government is aiming for that. What other effects could these meetings have on the people? It may lead to more public services like healthcare and education. When the economy flourishes, the government can allocate more funds to these essential areas. This paints a picture of hope for many ordinary Iraqis. Now, let's discuss the challenges ahead. Change doesn't happen overnight. There will be hurdles along the way. Corruption and bureaucracy remain deeply rooted issues. These factors could slow down any positive changes if not addressed. But the response from the Council of Ministers seems promising. They are acknowledging these challenges and looking for solutions. It's one step at a time, but every step counts. One must also remember the role of public opinion. How will the citizens view these meetings and plans? Are they seeing the changes they want? If the people don't feel the positive effects, there could be pushback. Engagement with the public is crucial. Transparency can make a big difference. Now, think about this, what happens if al Sadani is successful in these endeavors? Iraqi citizens could start feeling optimistic about their future. With better governance and rebuilt trust, the nation could move forward. So, is Iraq on the brink of a new chapter? The signs are encouraging, and it's exciting to watch. Let's keep an eye on the developments in the coming months. What will the Council of Ministers reveal next? So, what do you think? Will these meetings lead to meaningful change in Iraq? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and share this video. To stay updated on this story and more, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.